Cayman Islands Gazette is the island's official legal newspaper and the two words official and legal are quite important. The matters that are in the Gazette are only considered legally binding and official once they appear in the Gazette. Back in 2004 after Hurricane Ivan, government needed to put the Gazette online in order to maintain continuity so that persons overseas and locally would still have the benefit of having the official legal newspaper of the Cayman Islands. So the website was created, but because of the circumstances it was created quite quickly. This website that we have now isn't just an improvement on that. We came up with the redesign for the website after taking a long look at the existing site and we decided that one of the key features we wanted to put into the site was uh, the ability to search uh, more efficiently and easily and to be able to access information really quickly. The Gazette website is really straightforward. As you come to the site, you, we have thumbnails of the latest issues of the Gazette, uh, Extraordinary Gazette, the supplements. Basically by rolling over one of these images, you'll get a pop-up of the uh, Gazette in question. So you can easily identify if this is the Gazette you want to access. From that point, you can click on that image and go into a full view of that gazette and you can search within that gazette for key phrases for different companies and be able to print from the website. So it's really easy and efficient to use. We have clients who are overseas who use the gazette for their own purposes, legal purposes. Having it online means that we can save money because we don't have to mail physical hard copies to those subscribers. It's also much quicker because they can get the information in an instant instead of waiting for parcel post. The 2004 era online gazette is on a particular server. That server is now obsolete. With the new design, we can move the gazette to a new server and that will save government a significant amount, in my opinion, about $100,000 a year. What we have done with this redesign is to make the process much simpler for persons to use the Gazette online. There's a search function that we didn't have before. There are a few other bells and whistles that we didn't have before. And it's a cleaner interface. It's a better look and feel for the user. So we think that people will find a significant difference in how the Gazette online functions for them.